Hey everyone, welcome to Yoga with Adrian. I'm Adrian, and today we have a quick sequence for when you're feeling sore. So this isn't a big yoga um, practice that you know targets every major muscle group. Uh, this is just a little ditty that I think would be great if you're like 24 or 48 hours after your run or workout, or maybe you went to a hot yoga class, or maybe you went to a Zumba class, or maybe you did something that you're really proud of and your body's definitely feeling it and you're not necessarily ready to repeat whatever it is you did, but you want to kind of stretch and release and do a little something something. Okay, this is a request, so hop on the mat. You know, Actually, you don't, you don't need a mat today, um, but uh, hop on your feet, and we're not even gonna get on hands and knees today, so this is just a standing practice, so let's hop to it. my friends today we're gonna stand uh, anywhere on your mat you don't even need a mat for today's practice how about that um, but wherever you are we're just gonna bring the feet together and we're gonna stand up nice and tall and take a big old breath in and squeeze the shoulders up to the ears Benji's relaxing and then on an exhale draw the fingertips down allow the shoulder blades to really anchor down towards the earth and we create space here in the neck and shoulders. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, really scooping the, the shoulders, sorry, forward, up and back. And then using the exhale to tag a little weight in the fingertips and create space. One more time, big circles here. Awesome. Draw your chin to your chest here. Reach the fingertips, let them interlace behind the tail. So no need to lock the legs out here. We can keep kind of a soft, just kind of buoyancy here. We're gonna draw the knuckles down and then maybe away, but no need to push it here. So I'm really sore today in my arms, my forearms, and in the biceps. So already I'm getting a nice stretch here, opening up through the pectorals. Maybe you're sore from push-ups or being at the gym. And we open up through the chest. Last breath here, I invite you to tuck the pelvis just a little bit, allow the tailbone to, tailbone to grow heavy, and then we'll lift the chin up just slightly, stretching through the neck. Big breath in, use your exhale to break free, shake it out. Awesome. Now we're gonna bring the feet hip width apart, toes pointing forward. And we're gonna inhale, it's kind of like a Tai Chi move here, but not as slow. I'm going to really press through the base of the wrist here and reach the fingertips up, kind of coming to the zombie arm. Stretch, stretch, stretch forward, then repeat the loop of the shoulders as you loop forward, up, and back. Two more times. So I'm really stretching through the forearm, stretching through the wrists, great for carpal tunnel, one more time. Awesome, and then pressing forward, stop in the near Take your right hand to your left um, fingers, and we begin to pull back gently. Shoulders relax down, and then we switch. Awesome, big breath in, big breath out, and shake it off. Awesome, sweep the fingertips all the way up, full body stretch. Again, tuck the pelvis, tailbone grows heavy. We inhale, reach, 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 reach. Long puppy belly here. And then side body stretch, taking the right hand to the left wrist and think up with the heart, up and over. Nice side body stretch. Oh yeah, good for me here. Right shoulder girdle, right shoulder comes up towards the sky, so it might be here. So think about lifting your heart. One more big breath in here and big breath out. Awesome, back to center. Go ahead and relax the arms down and a couple of neck circles here. I like to imagine drawing circles with the nose one way and then the other. Awesome, sweep the arms all the way up. Big stretch here, volcano pose, draw the shoulders down 
tuck the pelvis, and then we'll take this side body stretch to the other side. Careful not to come in, you know, already collapsed. Think up, lift your heart up and over as we grab the right wrist now and stretch. Find your breath. Big old breath in, big breath out. And we'll come back to center and shake it off. Awesome. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. And this time, exhale, we're gonna bend the knees generously and come into a forward fold. So I'm gonna turn to my side here. And the feet are still hip width apart, so I'm stretching into the hamstrings, oh, beginning to stretch into the hips, beginning to stretch the lower back body by allowing the knee joints to bend generously. Grab the elbows, you know what to do here. Rock a little side to side, find what feels good. You can take your eyes off the video here and you can breathe more deeply. Extend your inhale here, make it longer. And see if you can lengthen your exhale as well. Make sure you're not holding in the neck. Shake a little yes, a little no. Then we'll release the arms and inhale, lift to a flat back position, your version. Careful not to lock the knees here. Big breath in. And on your exhale, back to that forward fold, Uttanasana. Couple breaths here, just hang out. Chill. Press into all four corners of the feet. Hmm. This is a great stress buster too here in Uttanasana. And then we'll slowly start a nice roll up. Coming all the way back to your mountain pose. And when you arrive, taking a big old breath in and a big breath out. Awesome, bring the feet together here. Fix your crazy curly hair. And we're gonna shift our weight onto the left foot. Hands come to the waistline and we find that lift in the heart just for a little um, balance and stability. And slowly I'll peel my right foot up. Take your right hand, grab your right ankle, and then squeeze your right knee in towards the midline. Squeeze everything into the midline, this energy that we've been talking about lately on the channel of hugging in towards the midline. Now, if uh, you're new to the practice or you're working on balance and stability, you can bring your hand to a wall here. You can bring your hand to a chair. I'm taking a second here to, to rotate my right ankle one way and then the other. And then I might just stay here, stretching through that quad. Maybe I take my left hand around for a deeper stretch, kind of coming in um, to the shape here. Again, remembering this tucking of the pelvis and this heavy tailbone that we did before. Cool. Stay there, stretching the quad, working on balance, lifting your heart, or begin to slide your right hand around and to the arch of your right foot. Now, lifting, stretching, opening up through the armpit chest here, lift and lift. Lift and lift, how about that? Squeeze the right knee in, inhale in and exhale. Begin to kick the right foot up towards the sky. So I'll go ahead and turn this way. Let's bring the left thumb to the sternum just to remind uh, the heart space, the heart center of the sternum to lift. I'm gonna kick up through the right leg, coming into kind of a standing bow pose here, if you will. I've rightened through my right foot, kick, 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 stretching through the front body, kicking through the sole of the right foot. The left hand can come out here, and permission to go ahead and open up towards the right side. So often in dancer, you know, we have all these other poses like this where we keep the hips squared. Permission to kind of open it up towards the right side of your mat or the right side of the room as you come into this kind of challenging uh, posture if you're new to the practice. So just play here. If you fall out, come back to it. Use your breath to inhale, expand and find lift, lengthen through the spine and use your exhale to ground down, to open up through the shoulders, to ground the shoulder blades together. Reach, 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 inhale. A couple more breaths here, wherever you are, big breaths. 
and then we'll use an exhale too, best you can. Reel it all in with control. So resist the urge to just kind of fall out, and if you do, no worries. But squeezing that right knee in towards the heart will interlace the fingertips. And catch your breath. Cool, taking the right knee now out towards the right side of the room, the right side of your mat. Bring your left hand to the waistline for stability and we breathe here. Right hip crease pulls back and down, tailbone still heavy, tuck your pelvis, lift your heart. Now you can stay here working on different variations. You might even grab the outer edge of your right foot, breathing as we kind of compress and massage the uh, hip crease if you are um, experienced, uh, what's that? If you are adventurous and you want to bring your middle finger, index finger, and thumb to the big toe for a little, uh, you know, hamstring action here as we open up, you can try that. So we're just having a little play time here. If none of these things are appealing to you, then find what feels good. So one of the good things about practicing at home is you can play, you know, mindfully. And so that's what we're doing here. Just kind of opening the hip up. You might just stay here working on balance. You might grab the outer edge of your right foot again here. Or you might grab that big toe and open up, just having a little fun, stretching it out. Great, wherever you are, begin to reel it back to center with con control, with a little bit of grace, best you can. Inhale, lift the heart. And exhale, slowly lower the right foot down. Same thing on the other side. Okay, here we go. Shifting weight to the right foot. Keep everything lifted though. Careful not to collapse here. This is kind of more foundations of yoga talk, but if you're already collapsed in this hip, it's gonna be really hard to um, grow your balancing postures with um, integrity and support and this kind of like joy of flying. You're never gonna fly in your poses if you're kind of collapsing into your joints. So we gotta hug those muscles to the bone and we can practice that here. Great. We're gonna catch the left ankle with the left hand and then squeeze that left knee into the midline. If you're sore, like if you did a run or something, this is, this is golden, right? This is good. So really press up out of your standing leg, lift your heart, breathe into the thick muscles of the quad and stretch her out. If you want, you can reach your right fingertips to catch the left foot as well. We can play with opening up through the chest, the pecs. So, you know, this video is going out to how many people the idea is that we all come together and inspire each other to stretch our muscles, <laughs> release some of that lactic acid and whatever's going on in your body, but we have to realize and understand that everyone's coming off a different workout or coming off a different day, dealing with different in injuries or things in healing. So um, I guess I'm trying to say make it your own. Just use this video as an opportunity to stretch, to release, your body will be so happy that you did. Okay, this time let's talk about this, drawing the navel in towards the spine a little bit and up so you can find length before you head into this standing posture. Maybe you just stay here, no problem. Or maybe you bring that left hand around to the arch of the left foot. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm kind of losing my voice today. Sexy. Just kidding, squeeze the left knee in. And we begin to kick up and out. Move nice and slow. You can hold on to a focal point or just, we talk about that uh, in the foundations of yoga, maybe holding on to one place to just kind of put your gaze on, help you focus. Maybe the right hand comes to the sternum, maybe it goes out and we play here on your own. Kicking the left foot up, opening up through the left uh, armpit chest, lengthening through the crown of the head. Notice a soft little bend in the standing leg here. Play with that. Find your breath. Breathe, 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 breathe. Notice if you're clenching, kind of in the sensory organs, your jaw, your neck, your uh, eyebrows. See if you can soften and release. And again, if you fall out, no worries. Shake it off as we did before and then come back maybe to try again. Use your breath to stretch and lengthen. And then whenever you're ready, whenever you're satisfied, as best you can with strength, with control, with grace, we'll squeeze that left knee up in towards the heart. <sighs> you might even lower the, the, the leg there for um, a little break, depending on how sore you are. And then we'll just kind of open it up through the hip here. So opening up, 
Right hand comes to the waistline. Ah, oh, this is nice. Get a little two for one. Definitely working on a little balance today. Rotate the left ankle if it feels good. I can't believe this dog is a six month old puppy. He's being so good. So we normally lock him away. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, but we normally satiate him and he's being so good today so we decided to let him stay. Maybe you grab the outer edge of your left foot here. Keep that heart lifted, my friends. Don't collapse. Stay pressing up and out of your standing leg. And then maybe you grab the big toe and you begin to stretch it out, and maybe not. So work at your level and just kind of smile, have fun. I want to make sure that we're not just stretching, but that you know our yoga is a playful um, dance that we enjoy. That's why we're adding this today, even though it seems kind of ridiculous, right? Wah. Right? Yoga is more than just, oh, stretching. <laughs> Is it, there's a certain amount of you that you get to bring to it and a certain amount of joy that really makes it yoga for me anyway. So wherever you are, smile. Take a big breath in. And then we'll come back to this squeezing of the left knee in towards the heart for one more breath as you loop the shoulders. Lift your heart up, big breath. And then use the exhale to release. Awesome. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up and overhead. Hook the thumbs, slide back bend here as you tuck the pelvis one last time, tailbone grows heavy. Open up through the front body, stretch, stretch, stretch. Big breath in as you reach the fingertips towards the back of your room. And then exhale, cactus arms as you come back to stack head over heart, heart over the pelvis. And then this is fun today, we're gonna end by bringing the palms together, smooshing them. You know, like if you're doing this in your home right now, this, I love you. This energy, we'll bring them together. And then we bow forward to one another. Namaste. And you're done. Awesome work, my friends. Thank you so much for sharing your time and your energy and your practice with me. If you feel like you want to do more today, I suggest the Gentle Morning Sequence as a great supplemental video to this one. Uh, really nice, stretchy stretch, restorative stuff. Also, uh, if you realize that you have more energy than you thought after this and you want to do more, try the Energizing Morning Sequence. Those are two good videos um, that you might try with this one. Um, if you're good to go, I thank you so much for joining me. Make sure to sign up for the weekly letter over at yogawithadrian.com and I'll see you next week with free yoga videos every Wednesday. Bye from me and Benji. Peace. Namaste.